Hello wonderful people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Well, almost morning. It's approaching towards midnight, so I like to call it morning time. Uh, I have a fragrance for you today. It's going to be a sample review and the fragrance is a niche fragrance. I would like to say thanks to my brothers, Brother Tanzi Shuho, as well as Brother Pantho. Uh, both of them, they are my very good friends. As you guys already know, I keep mentioning them. They sent me a lot of samples recently and I have two left to do reviews on. I've been testing it actually because these fragrances are very, very complex. So th thanks to Fragrance BD for uh, sort of, I wouldn't say sponsor it because uh, they are not sponsoring me, but they are sending me these uh, samples once in a while to review. So courtesy of this review is Fragrance BD. So they are actually authentic source to buy fragrances. You see they often, you know, bring a lot of uncommon fragrances, both design and niche. So yeah, I would like to say support them as well because they're very honest people and their services are good and you can actually rely on their uh, products they all come from usa and stuff like that so so the fragrance today we'll be looking at uh, it's called tango by mas milano i think that's how you said i have a 2 ml sample this comes in edp concentration and uh, i think it's for both men and women very nice uh, unique fragrance and i have plenty to say about this after testing i have the dry down on my hand for some time i will respray it to let you know my uh, thoughts on both opening and dry down what to expect and who is this fragrance for because it's a very expensive fragrance uh, so the fragrance I think it comes used to come in 100 ml before and now it's like 35 ml bottle if I'm not mistaken I saw it somewhere recently I think Lucky Sense or somewhere they're selling 5 ml and uh, like not 5 ml 2 ml samples and 35 ml bottle so the new 35 ml bottle looks really I mean I am having it in front of me in fragrant ticker looks nice the juice color is pretty nice the bottle looks like a kind of small like uh, Nasimato bottles but I'll put a picture up top um, so the fragrance is the 35 mil is gonna cost you hundred fifty dollars okay so that's not cheap uh, but there are much more pricey fragrance out there so is the fragrance worth looking at because not to me you know like I always look at I tell you I always look at the value what you get and I always look at the price point definitely you know you have to have some sort of balance in the world um, so let's see what it feels like so I'll show you the sample here it's pretty awesome it's all matte black pretty cool so the name I'm I do not have whole information on this I'm just gonna try to read out uh, the name is here and there's some sort of like a flame going on here and it says three to four you know like here I guess is the number of the fragrance I don't know and then it says the name of the perfumer her name is Cecile Zarokian I could be butchering that name I'm really sorry if I am and it says Mas Milano, the name of the house. Back is pretty cool because uh, they provide all the notes breakdown here. Head notes, hard notes, base notes. They call opening top notes as hard head notes. Pretty interesting. It says Tango, EDP. Pretty like a lot of information. It's made in Italy. So you get a lot of information. And I'm going to be very careful because I have dropped my samples before and broken them. Hopefully it doesn't happen here. Inside, the best thing is there is nothing. No picture, no description, nothing. It's just niche, niche-like and the sample lays there so sample juice color is pretty beautiful it's like really nice to look at and i would like to actually say very big thanks because this kind of expensive perfumes it's not possible to blind buy this fragrance 135 dollars for 150 dollars for 35 mil not cheap <laughs> so uh, yeah they look at the juice color brilliant rich like ambery juice color and i'll show you a couple of fragrances what it reminds me of and what does it smell like as i go so the name and everything is there, Tango, and I'm really grateful that I got to, you know, experience this expensive fragrance uh, because of the sample. I would never blind by this. Uh, first time I sprayed this, let me tell you my history. I'll tell you the notes after this. First time I sprayed this, I got like, like on my face. It was like a, like a blast on my face. I was like, oh, this is heavy, must be oud. I did not look at the nose break or nothing. And I thought it's an oud-based fragrance that is westernized kind of oud. And it's gonna be like smoky spicy and rose element I smell some rose in it and I smelled sort of like a spicy property so I that's all I got and it lasted a very long time longevity on this is very impressive even from small sample it lasts way over like seven eight hours you know in this heat high heat and my skin is not the best you guys know it's like a dry skin that I have uh, so I always need sort of like you always see that people someone asked me why you need Vaseline People having ideas, no, Vaseline I need because I have really dry skin after shower everything. Without that, I do not go anywhere. It's like I am a monster and everything gets like dry and stuff. <laughs> it's scary for me. So I need uh, Vaseline. I need stuff like, 
even the these things you know petroleum jelly and stuff so yeah i'm kind of girly so <laughs> so mas milano this fragrance first time i got i tried it and i put it back immediately because i wanted to review the other ones they're easier to review 24 gold eyes um they sent me uh, this other one by kelly and black phantom i did like three yatagan even yatagan is not as uh, challenging as this so this is a very interesting fragrance but it's not for everybody it's not for the faint of heart this is a true niche fragrance uh, what i mean by true niche fragrance this is this got uniqueness this got some sort of a, what do you call um, i would say creativity um, this fragrance has uh, it will take some time for you to understand this fragrance okay and you have to be patient this fragrance initially can scare you it comes off really a big blast let me tell you the notes on it uh, from here okay head notes they mention bergamot black pepper and cardamom so i talk about the spiciness there is a black pepper and the cardamom as well so the heart is the most important part and it's really interesting it says sambak jasmine uh, damascus i think damascena i think it's like they mean damascus rose oil so probably like the rose oil extracted from the rose from damascus okay cumin uh, patchouli okay then the base note they have vanilla bean um, Amber Accord, I don't know the ne next one, I don't know what that is. Leather Accord, Benzoin and Musk. So I tell you one thing, I did smell from this, I smelled the rose. I thought at first it's oud, but actually this is the amber that I smelled. And I couldn't tell, it was a spicy amber. It's pretty different than the other ambers that I smelled. So that was pretty challenging for me. I did not detect the amber at first, but I knew there's like background somewhere, there's a sweetness coming from it. It gets much more mellow after the opening. The opening is very scary. It's like peppery. It's uh, smoky. It's like reminds you of sort of like a, a by the fireplace. And if you know the very popular Grand Soir by Mason Francis Kirk John. But Grand Soir is way sweeter. This is spicier. That one is opening and dry down is very easy to love. And a little bit reminds me of Lou Desai. Noir Ambre. Okay. This fragrance. This kind of fragrance, if you like amber, amber dominant fragrances, this is amber dominant fragrance. But it's happening, so many things happening around it. Let me spray this once again and talk about the opening top notes, okay? At this one, I don't want to spray too many times, but I did just two sprays uh, just because of the review sake. The whole thing was full, basically. I used this much for the review. And it's, it reminds you of like, really, it's like really pungent. It's really strong. I do not see how women would where this initial blast it may be for very strong women like women who have maturity you know like mature women but i see this is mostly will work for men you know i don't know maybe i'm just biased but you put this on you already accepted the challenge do not plan to wear another fragrance for next seven to eight hours okay longevity and projection beast mode time to wear it winter time when it gets really cold night time it's a very very mysterious and scary sort of like it reminds me a lot of like horror movies for me uh, it's a very mysterious scary fragrance it's dark it's dark it has that leather at the background I saw some fragrant taker reviews people do not mention the leather I get the leather I'll tell you why I get the leather you see this fragrance right here uh, this is pure leather one of the most underrated mugle out there if you know this fragrance people say they do not smell any sort of leather from it they smell mostly amen in that but if you really put your nose you get this brown nice sort of a leather uh, note that pops up that's kind of animalic at the same time it's beautiful same here i get that animalic leather in this that's one dimension next is that cardamom rose jasmine as well as i think the pepper somewhere there but there's something else somewhere deep down there it's not a typical rose like a rose water the thai rose no not a thai rose the Damascus rose, whatever, it gets darkened in here, okay? It gets kind of like a jammy rose sort of, but not sweet. It's like a spicy rose note in this. So the amber, I think it combines with those notes. It makes it sort of like a smoky, uh, rosy sort of feel that hits you. And the pepper and the cardamom sort of side by side. So the thing is, there's this another player that is the cumin. I think that's the, that's the note I'm, I'm looking at. That, that note makes it totally different fragrance than Grand Soir or Noir Ambre. Those are very easy to wear. Those are, trust me, not challenging. This is challenging. Uh, you have to really wait for one hour to two hours for it to go to the dry down. Then it becomes really beautiful. It gets really smooth, very prominent still, but the amber pops up and it totally changes as a fragrance. That really blew my mind. Uh, why I say that? Because sometimes, you know, fragrances mostly are unique, you know, like, uh, like, uh, not what's the word I'm looking for 
they they do not change so much you know like they are not universal you see late night this thing happens they are pretty much like you know they don't have so much transformation and stuff so uniform they are pretty uniform this is not uniform fragrance this is uh changing it's like changing over time you know you actually do smell a lot of these notes that mentioned here i do get that cumin patchouli that darkness as i showed you see see everything falls into place i did not plan this review i don't have a script when i showed you amen uh, pure leather it has a strong patchouli note so you can relate a lot of fragrance if you try to try dark fragrances it will remind you of this one okay this fragrance will remind you of those another thing i tell you it is very weird i get a rubber note from this like a burn rubber so there is definitely some fire going on something burning there's something smoky going on not quite like mancera red tobacco like a smoky incense kind of a smoky sort of a tobacco no there's no tobacco in this but i tell you what look at this fragrance bulgari and this is like a bulgari uh, what's this called bulgari the hockey puck i think uh, i always forget the name of this um what's this fragrance called <laughs> Bulgari black, yeah, this is uh, something similar to Midnight in Paris. I didn't use it for a long time, I forgot. But look at the side of the bottle. It's like sort of like this rubber and they have this rubber note in this. From this, I get that rubber note, but when you're burning it. So some sort of smoky amber, something burning rubbery thing going on. And I'll tell you the most important and most interesting part. I have smelled some fragrance from Russian Adam, you know, Aris La Dore, and they have a few others. They have very, very strong, challenging, openings um, I do not remember all of them but I did initial impression from the samples but I remember maybe coffee the luwak wood luwak maybe or one of them they have very strong skanky animalic note that comes it's not quite as bad as kuros or those but you certainly get a vibe from it it almost looks like a powerhouse but after a while it changes its mind and goes towards uh, beautiful embry that's time I think it's pretty unisex at that point so this fragrance is a uh, very interesting fragrance and definitely you should you should uh, get a sample like this because this is going to be expensive if you buy a decant it's going to be not cheap um, this fragrance you should definitely sample it first if you can have a uh, like an outlet where they're selling these fragrances if they allow you to test it that would be perfect just see the transformation but do not wear this in high heat it's it, you're going to absolutely hate it right so it's a love it or hate it kind of fragrance and i'm really uh like gonna recommend this for people who have been in the fragrance game for a very long time very interesting dark amber a lot of like dimension of this fragrance you know a lot of things going on not just amber i just smell the rose here and there then i get that cardamom you know the pepper and i get that leather you know i get that burning rubber thing very interesting fragrance okay so longevity and projection no question 10 but uh, for the smell it's not for basic not basic, the starters, basically, who love basic fragrances like Prada Loam, Savoir, something simple. This is a complex fragrance, right? I highly recommend this if you're looking for something dark, something sensual, mysterious around you. Uh, it's going to create a beautiful aroma around you in the evening time, during the winter, okay? So this fragrance, it's definitely like, love it or hate it. How much I like it? I like it because I love this kind of fragrances. For me, it's gonna get like that nine, ten sort of. You guys, you see where I'm going with this. But if I'm gonna suggest to people, I'm say, gonna say, try it. Do not blind by it. It's a love it or hate it kind of fragrance. You might fall in love with it after the transformation. You might absolutely hate it and call it a pass. No problem because this is an expensive perfume and it's accurate taste. So thank you so much, fragrance BD. Uh, overall, this fragrance I'll give it for overall people out there. I would say. 85% people will pass on this. That's my best guess. But the rest of the 15% who like to explore, take risks, this is for people. This is for people like, who like to explore? Christopher Columbus. No, Columbus, no. <laughs> I don't see him wearing this. Uh, people, you know, like who are adventurous people, you know, like they go out in the nature. They do not know what's going to happen, but they still do it anyway. They jump, they leap, you know. This is for people who have faith, you know. They just try to take their chance with life beautiful fragrance okay uh, masterpiece sort of a fragrance but price is expensive so overall for the price and the quality it it's nine for me okay that's my review on this so thank you so much for the sample once again fragrance bd and hopefully you enjoyed the review even though it's a bit long really wanted to discuss this kind of fragrance it's always a pleasure smelling it and how much just don't spray more than one from the bottle it, this 35 ml bottle is gonna last you for a very long time this fragrance has no issue with performance Everybody take care and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.